all right what is good y'all i hope everybody is having a wonderful day today is currently sunday august 4th i forgot my tripod so the camera angle might be a little bit weird okay so i moved a little bit so i could get some shade i have no idea if this thing can see me oh it can it's just very low hold on okay i don't know how much better this is but hopefully it's good enough okay today we're going to be going over the photos that i took in july uh, one thing to mention is that there is a lot of photos to go through today there's 39 usually i'll cut it down but i decided to present these photos as sets because I did go to like a decent amount of events during July. So a lot of the photos come in like packages pretty much. I'm still gonna try and get through them as quickly as possible. Before I do any of these like recap videos, I do re-edit every single photo. So all 39 of these photos have been edited with my preset pack. So if you like the way my photos look and you'd like to replicate that yourself, you can go ahead and purchase it. It is currently 40% off until the end of August. Anyhow, let's get into this. So the first set of photos we have is from a festival that I went to. I didn't really plan on shooting much that day but it ended up being a very photogenic type of spot so of all the photos i took that day i've got these six photos that i think are probably some of my favorites and of the six i'd probably pick these two to be my favorites so the first one being a photo of this little i don't even know what the fuck this ride is called but it goes up and then it drops and then the people start screaming i decided to take the photo as it was dropping just to kind of get like people's reactions inside of the photo then the second photo that i like the most is this one that was during the fireworks show this one i just thought was really nice just a father and her dad watching the fireworks very cool very cute very nice so the next five photos so for the first two photos these were taken sometime during midday this specific car is a car that i see on like my bus ride pretty much every day i just really like the way the car looks so i finally just decided one day that i'm just gonna get off the bus and take the photo and then just take the next bus the photos still turned out very nice i'd say these were probably my two favorite ones this one i really like that you can see the details of the interior it's very cool and i like the blue and it kind of contrasts the warmth of the entire image and then the next day at 6 a.m i decided to go back and take photos of the car again and i honestly do prefer these sunrise photos a little bit better because it makes the colors pop a little bit more there's more blues in the shadows and these were the two photos that i picked as my favorites from that day and then the last photo here is from the exact same day this was just later during the photo walk where i saw this car that was parked in like i don't even know what this is but it was next to someone's house it was framed really really nicely within these trees so i took the photo and it ended up really really nice next up i do believe this was the same day again i got downtown and i saw this very nice blue porsche i say this one's probably my favorite because it's a nice photo of the whole car and then with the blurred background to kind of just emphasize the focus onto the car and then kind of as a compliment to that photo i also took these detail shots and they turned out really really nice this next set of photos was a photo shoot that i did for my friend these were for her birthday she kind of just wanted to have something to post for her birthday so i was like sure i was down now the whole thing was her idea she kind of directed the whole thing i just went and took the photos i say my favorite of the photo this is probably the first two because of the red light that was being used and then the second one was a bit more stylistic definitely not the type of photo i would usually take and i took this at 1 60th of a second so there is a bit of motion blur in the photo as well and the other two photos were taken with a flash it was a bit difficult doing this in pitch black because i couldn't focus properly especially because i'm using a manual focus camera all right next up this was an event that i went to i honestly didn't even know about the event my friends invited me to go so i just went this one here is probably one of my favorites i like the subject itself i love his outfit it's very nice the only thing i don't like that much is the background because there's people in the background it's the fact that there's only just like three people in the back that kind of makes it feel like they're just there to interrupt the photo which they're not obviously but that's just kind of like the vibe that i'm getting from the photo i feel like it would have been better if they either weren't there at all or if there was more people in the background to kind of like contextualize the entire photo another photo i really like was this one mostly because of the colors and the lighting i think where i decided to frame them was actually a very very nice decision the red in the background kind of complements their skin as well as the brick wall in the background here then the angle that the sun is shining on is very very nice as well here we have another one of my favorite photos it was very hard to pick some favorite photos for this day specifically because i really liked a lot of these photos and if you want to see the rest of them i have my instagram linked in the description you can see all the photos that i took from that day posted on there these fucking birds are loud as shit bro what the fuck anyways i like this one specifically because of the colors and the lighting again since this photo was taken indoors there's a lot of darker areas inside the photo that kind of pick up that 
greenish tint that I usually put in the shadows and that just adds a very nice filmic look to the entire photo and I really like the lighting coming in from the window that is on the right on this one right here another very very nice photo I really like this guy's outfit as well as the glasses his whole vibe in general was very very cool you can see the blue shirt kind of being complemented by the light blue the background here as well as the yellow here complementing his skin and you'll see the nice hints of red in the necklace and like in some parts of his skin that kind of just pop inside the entire image just the colors in this image are very very beautiful and these last two photos i thought were really really cool because of the way that i used my focus here usually when i take photos of two people i like to like close my aperture down so i can get more of them to focus but this one i just decided to say fuck it i kept my aperture at 1.4 and i just focused on the guy in the back and then for the next one, I focused on the guy in the front. I feel like these photos, when you pair them together, kind of just makes them even nicer. So the next five photos, you've probably already seen if you watch my behind the scenes for the Joey brand photo shoot. So if you want to see the rest of those photos, you can go ahead and check out that video. They wanted these photos to be really bright and soft, and I think I delivered that pretty well. I don't have much experience shooting brands so this was a great like opportunity for me personally i'd say my favorites from this are probably this one right here because i just like the way the jewelry looks inside this photo i just think this photo is framed really really nicely it doesn't make it obvious that it's like a jewelry like photo shoot type of thing then my second favorite would probably be this one right here where it's more of like an establishing shot of the entire thing i feel like that subtle kind of marketing i guess just adds a really nice touch to the photo next up we have these pair of photos that i took of myself this was during my birthday uh, i don't do self portraits very often especially because on this camera it's very difficult i did record this and i did plan on posting it the recording was a bit boring and i felt like i had to do a lot of voiceover for it so that kind of turned me off from actually posting it so as reparations i will be doing another self-portrait photo shoot and i will be recording that more in depth so if you do want to see that just subscribe and stay tuned so you can see how i use this literal monster of a camera to do my own self portraits and the last three photos i literally took like a couple days ago i was on the bus and i saw this car parked and i immediately got off the bus to take a photo of the car and this is kind of the same as all the other car photos for like the porsche specifically i have one kind of establishing shot type of photo that kind of shows its environment show where it was parked at then i have two detail shots all right that's it that's 39 photos that i went through in under 30 i lied that was not 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up for this outro. So I am trying to post like once a week now because it kind of felt like most of my videos were just monthly recaps. Coming up with ideas that I feel like are gonna be like actually interesting is a little bit difficult. So if you guys have anything that you want me to make videos on, please comment them down in the comment section. And once again, all these photos were edited with my preset pack. So if you like the way any of these look, and you would like to replicate the look yourself as well as customize the look consider checking out my preset pack if you do purchase it and use it then please tag me in whatever photos that you post i would love to see the work that you guys create that's gonna be all hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day goodbye